This is Dave Klein in Seattle, Washington. Our question today is, explain why you're leaving your present job. This should be well thought out and planned before you get there. For example, if you're leaving the military, then you've got all the reason in the world. You know, look, I want to come home and I want to come back to, you know, the civilian life and, and all that. Or I'm retiring and you're at a very young age, generally, when you leave the military and you retire, whether you're an officer or an enlisted person, and you've got many years. But that's that's the whole different story. One of the real reasons that people in mid-career or at the beginning of their career after a couple of years want to leave a position is because the opportunities for advancement are not there. You might have a boss that's, you know, the same age as you, and, you know, you can say that I haven't got promotional opportunities or the location was better for whatever reason. So it could be location or you could say, you know, I really need to, you know, make a little bit more money. And I feel that I've got the experience now and I and I really don't see that money, though, is never that's usually the primary reason. But that's not the primary reason you would ever talk about it. Basically, what you want to say is the opportunity and uh, for advancement, or you looked up on their website might be equally as well and say, you know, this is just the company that I want to work for. You know, if you've done your research, you can probably give them a half a dozen reasons, although you don't need that many, two or three, for wanting to go to work there. And if you know something about the direct hiring manager that's interviewing you, the person that you're going to report to directly to, you can kind of, as long as it's not overbearing, you can say, you know, you're the kind of manager that I would like to work for. I've heard good things about you, especially, you know, if you're staying within the uh, uh, whatever kind of niche you're already in. If it was design, it might be design, an architect, an architect, or a nurse, another nurse, another manager, CEO, CFO, and so on. If you're leaving, that's a little bit harder to do if you're going from, you're transitioning from one area to another. However, those are the right reasons. It could be an opportunity for a school uh, if you had a, a learning. It, there's, there's, there's a lot of legitimate reasons. The wrong reasons for leaving are, I don't like my boss. We don't get along. The last two supervisors I've had. Whenever you reflect negatively on someone that you're working with, regardless of the situation, it's always going to reflect on you as an inability to get along in the workplace, regardless of how it's presented. Just keep that in mind. This is Dave Klein in Seattle, Washington. I want to thank you for your time and uh, look forward to uh, my next message. Thank you.